I think Salvador Dali was the 20th century's greatest artist. And because of that one element alone, we had a lot of things that we had to juggle in this film. We had over 50,000 photographs that were taken by the late Robert de Charnes. We had interviews that we did with people who knew Salvador Dali. And we had to cover a lot of geography from Portugal and Spain, through Italy, France, New York, and even New Jersey. And it was all those elements combined that really make this the film it is. Dali would have none of that. For inspiration, he may have cruised the Seine on his annual trip to Paris. There, if past were prologue, he would have taken a voyage through his own subconscious, relying on the dream state, the sleep of truth, to take him to the realm of the surreal world for divine inspiration. From the deck of a riverboat with the city lights passing effortlessly by, it was the perfect place for him to put his mind in neutral and let the images and memories of the Fatima story build in his mind. And finally, in late 1961, the vision of hell was completed. <laughs> 